Today we will discuss about CHRP and IO test. These tests are impact tests which are used for measuring the toughness of the material. We separately discuss about CHRP and IO test. Firstly, we will discuss about machine on which this CHRP and IO test will be performed. We have a base for the machine and this column with scale on the upper side. This is the direct reading scale and a hammer or pendulum before hitting the specimen and this is the position of the pendulum after hitting the specimen. Specimen will be placed in the middle of the machine and this is the striking position of the hammer when it will strike the specimen and the reading will convert when it will strike on the specimen this will lose energy and this specimen will gain energy so height of the hammer will be changed according to absorbing energy of the specimen and this reading will give us accurate reading for toughness of the material now we discuss about specimens of charp and iso test 55 mm specimen and 10 mm width and 10 mm thickness is used for CRP specimen with V-notch and for isode specimen the specimen will be 75 mm long, 10 mm width and 10 mm thick with 2 mm deep notch at 45 degree. This is also a deep notch with 45 degree. So these are the specimen for the CHRP and iode test. And direction of heating for CHRP and iode test are seen in this figure. The specimen will be placed in the horizontal direction for CHRP test and direction of heating of the hammer will be from that side. And in iode test specimen will be placed vertically and direction of heating from that side. So these are, this is the CHRP and IO test direction of heating. Angle of striking of hammer for IO test is 90 degree. But angle of striking of hammer for CHRP test is 140 degree. Striking hammer for CHRP test is ball pin hammer. And striking hammer for IO test is farming hammer. So these are the differences between CHRP and IO test specimens, angles and hammers. Thank you for seeing this video. For more updated videos, you can subscribe me on my channel, Learn and Grow. Thank you.